हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेयर इन आई एम होस्टिंग लेक्चर्स ऑन थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड करंटली आई एम होस्टिंग लेक्चर्स ऑन एंड्रोलॉजी एंड इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द फंक्शनल एनाटमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स द एक्सेसरी सेक्स लैंड द एक्सेसरी सेक्स लैंड in the male contribute to the seminal plasma as well as many other biochemicals uh, and the molecules necessary for spermatozoa function friends i am professor g n purohit the dean post graduate studies and head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics college of veterinary and animal science bikaner rajasthan india so today we discuss about the accessory sex gland topic 1 would be bulbourethral glands topic 2 urethral glands topic 3 prostate gland topic 4 seminal vesicles and topic 5 ampullary glands in the bull the uh, accessory sex glands we start with the bulbo urethral glands and uh, in the bull and stallion the accessory sex glands can be manipulated via the rectum to stimulate ejaculation for collecting semen for a fertility check the breeding soundness evaluation in the pig the bulbo urethral glands or cowper's glands are large and are the source of the gelatinous material found in boar semen so in this table you can clearly see in the various species which glands are absent uh, you can see in the pig the ampulla is absent in the dog the ampulla is absent the vesicular glands are absent and the bulbo urethral glands are absent so dogs only have the prostate gland in the cat the ampulla is absent and the vesicular gland is absent in the camel the seminal vesicles or the vesicular glands are absent so this is a picture showing the location of the accessory sex glands of the bull you can see these are the cowper's gland then this is the prostate then these are the seminal vesicles the we start discussing about bulbo urethral glands or the cowper's gland they are paired located on either side of the pelvic urethra near the sciatic arch and between the anus and urethra they are ovoid in shape or walnut shape the blood supply to the bulbo urethral glands is internal pudic artery and the nerve supply is from the pelvic plexus the physiological function of the cowper's gland is to provide pre ejaculatory secretion to clean the urethral passage through flushing the urethra from urine and microorganisms debris and crystals for maintaining the hygienic condition of the urethral orifice before the semen ejaculation to supplement nutrition or energy to spermatozoa to lubricate the urethral passage to lubricate the vagina of opposite sex partner during mating to maintain optimum ph level of urethral passage which provides favorable condition for spermatozoa and these are the species differences you can see in the boar the cowper's gland are the largest and their length is around 12 cm and diameter is 2.5 to 3 cm in the bull the size of the cowper's gland uh, is smaller compared to the stallion and a single duct from each gland is present in the stallion each gland has 6 to 8 excretory ducts you can see here the cowper's gland they have excretory ducts that opening into the urethra in the boar the cowper's gland are largest having as they are cylindrical in shape and there is a single duct opening in the urethral passage in the dog and tom cat cowper's gland is absent in the dogs and cowper's gland in tom cat is as large as in case of prostate in uh, cats the urethral glands are present in human beings but absent in the bull stallion dog cat and boar in the bull boar and ram pelvic urethra contains disseminate part of the prostate gland and should not be called as urethral glands the urethra what is the now we discuss what is the urethra the urethra in males is the common passage for the excretion of urine as well as for transportation of the semen in bulls it is about 115 cm in length and the urethra has three distinct parts namely the pelvic part bulb of urethra and the penile part 
The pelvic part of urethra is about 20 cm in length in the bull and is situated on the pelvic floor. The pelvic urethra is enclosed by heavy urethral muscles or the Wilson's muscles, also known as the Wilson muscle, which help in ejaculation and micturition by its forcible contraction. The bulb of the urethra is extra pelvic, situated on ischial arch and bending ventral to the pelvis. The penile urethra runs inside the penis proper. Now we talk about the prostate gland. The prostate gland is located on the floor of the pelvis around the neck of the urinary bladder or cranial portion of the pelvic urethra or caudal to the neck of the bladder. It adds its secretion at the time of ejaculation by means of many ducts opening on the pelvic urethra. The secretions are released in the pelvic urethra near the colliculus seminalis. Now, what is colliculus seminalis? Colliculus seminalis is a cavernous tissue. This is the colliculus seminalis. It is a cavernous tissue present at the neck of the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. And it is filled with blood during ejaculation to close the opening of the urinary bladder to prevent mixing of the urine with the semen or entry of the spermatozoa inside the urinary bladder. So, this is the colliculus seminalis. Now, the, what are the functions of the prostate? The prostate secretes the prostatic fluid. It secretes more quantity of serous and less quantity of mucus secretion. It stimulates the spermatozoal motility. It secretes certain biochemicals like fructose and citric acid. It provides passage for transit of glandular secretion from the gland to its outlet and provides the liquid medium for the transport of sperm in the reproductive tract. The prostate has the Blood supply through the internal pudendal artery and the prostate is supplied by pelvic plexus nerves. In the ram, the <coughs> prostate is diffused over a large portion of the pelvic urethra. You see pelvic, this is the prostate. The ram has no body of pros prostate gland and it has only pass disseminator. The bull prostate has two parts. The pass disseminator and the body of the prostate. Then the, uh, these are the dimensions of the prostate in the bull. It can be felt as a small protuberance in the cranial end of the pelvic urethra by transrectal palpation. In the stallion, the prostate is situated over the neck of the bladder and cranial portion of the urethra. The prostate in the stallion has two lateral lobes in the cranial end of the pelvic urethra. These are the two lateral lobes and are connected by a structure known as the isthmus. This is the isthmus. The bore, the prostate gland is covered by the seminal vesicles. The pass disseminator is quite extensive and the body is located dorsal to the urinary bladder. You can see here the prostate in the bore. In the dog, the prostate is well developed and is the only accessory sex gland present in this species. The prostate in dogs open by two excretory ducts, the prostate. The prostate gland is larger in size and surrounds the neck of the bladder. This usually results in older dogs uh, with uh, enlargement of the prostate into uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Then it is located in the cranial borders of pubis and the size varies with age. These are the dimensions of the pars propria and pars disseminator of the prostate in the bull and the boar. In the boar, the pars disseminator is larger than the bull. Then the seminal vesicles or the vesicular glands, they are paired accessory sex glands located on the floor of the pelvis, dorsal and lateral to the ampulla or neck of the bladder. In ruminants and boar, it is a lobulatory, lobulatory gland and uh, it has a central dilation. You can see here, it's a lobulated gland with uh, central dilation. This is the seminal vesicle. Name of the seminal vesicle in all domestic animals is vesicular glands except the stallion. In the stallion, the ves uh, seminal vesicles are large, have a central dilation and is more like a bladder and glands are located on the uh, walls. Uh, you can see this is the body of the prostate 
and this is the seminal vesicles this is the urinary bladder both middle rectal artery and inferior vesicle artery are the arterial source of seminal vesicles and the muscular wall of the seminal vesicles is provided by a plexus of nerve fibers and contains small sympathetic ganglion the seminal vesicles have a function which uh, include the addition of nutrients volume and buffer to the semen the seminal secretions from the seminal vesicles uh, add fructose and citric acid which are the main source of energy and motility for the spermatozoa and the seminal vesicle uh, adds the liquid part of the ej ejaculate and uh, it is the main source of flow current and uh, floating vesicular motion due to surface tension of its liquid state which helps the male gamete during its swimming in the liquid seminal plasma by propelling of spermatozoa locomotory apparatus through dynamic energy the phylum, final volume of semen is related to the quantity of the seminal vesicle secretions of the seminal vesicles this is uh, the peculiarities of the seminal vesicles in the bull it is lobulated in the stallion they are smooth in the boar they are very large and uh, cover the caudal portion of the bladder in the dog and cat seminal vesicles are absent uh, this is the biometry of the length breadth thickness of uh, the seminal vesicles in different species then the ampullary glands are present as dilations of the terminal portion of the ductus deferens just before they enter the pelvic urethra where their main function is to act as reservoirs of sperm this branched this branched uh, tubular gland lined by uh, simple columnar epithelium is an enlargement of the ductus deferens in its terminal portion this is the ductus deferens in the bull ram and dog the ampullary glands contribute slightly to the seminal plasma whereas their contribution to the ejaculate is relatively more important in the stallion the main constituent of ampullary secretion in the stallion is ergothioneine these glands are absent in the cat and poorly developed in boars then the uterus masculinus is a rudimentary structure and remnant of the paramesonephric duct in male and located between ampullae and seminal vesicles it is situated on the caudal dorsal surface of the bladder and cranial to the prostate 50 to 70% of the bulls have uterus masculinus now let us hurriedly recapitulate what we have learned today the male reproductive accessory sex glands include the bulbo urethral gland urethral gland prostate gland seminal vesicles and the ampullary glands cowper's glands are paired glands and they provide pre ejaculatory secretion which clears the urethral passage lubricates it and maintain the ph the size of the cowper's gland is small in bull but large in boars and cowper's glands are absent in the dog the urethra is a common passage for excretion of urine and semen the urethral muscle the wilson muscle helps in ejaculation the prostate is located on the floor of the pelvis and its secretions are released in pelvic urethra near the colliculus seminalis the colliculus seminalis is a cavernous tissue at neck of bladder that prevent mixing of the uh, semen and urine the prostate gland provides the fluid medium fructose and citric acid to the semen the prostate in dogs is very large opens by two excretory ducts the seminal vesicles are known as vesicular glands except in the stallion the seminal vesicles contribute the gel portion of the semen in horses and boars the seminal vesicles are large in boars and this produces high semen volume the seminal vesicles are absent in the dog and cat and the camel the ampullary glands are more important in stallion absent in cats and poorly developed in boars so this is my contact details professor gn puroi this is my email gnpobs@gmail.com this is my youtube link and this is my linkedin uh, link so kindly listen to the lecture completely share the video give your comments and suggestions and subscribe to my channel uh, youtube channel govind narayan purohit if you like them thank you thank you so much